Well, joining me here today is Jennifer Holberg, coordinator at Midwest Victim Services in Lloydminster, and also the recipient of the Excellence in Victim Service Award. Uh, Jennifer, congratulations uh, to you. And also, were you surprised that you found out that uh, you were the winner? Yeah, I was actually really surprised. Um, just the nomination itself was, um, it kind of touched me. I got an opportunity to read through some of the submissions that were sent in by my colleagues and um, some of our past clients, as well as the RCMP members in our detachments that we serve. And just reading those letters and um, it brought a tear to my eye actually and I wasn't expecting to actually receive the award but just being nominated I know it sounds cliche but um, that in itself felt like a win to me and then to learn that I'd actually been chosen for the award was a uh, even bigger shock, uh, shock but kind of the cherry on top I guess. Does receiving this award put the work you do into perspective knowing that you are recognized amongst your peers and also recognized for the work that you're doing here in Lloydminster and how that's benefiting people? I don't think that any one of us goes into um, this type of career looking for the accolades or the pat on the back, but it, it definitely is nice to know that the work you're doing is acknowledged and recognized. And it, it's just a bit more fuel in the tank, so to speak, to keep doing what we're doing because we know we're, we're going in the right direction. I know the ceremony would have been in person in Ottawa. So take us through how that ceremony all played out virtually. Yeah, they, they held a virtual event this year, like you said, because of COVID, we weren't able to travel to be there, which was too bad. But, um, you know, they did a really nice job of, of, um, of doing the, the ceremony virtually, and they had a really good keynote speaker that followed. So, yeah, it, no matter how you get the award, it's just still nice to, to have been acknowledged that way. Now this week is Victims and Survivors of Crime Week in Saskatchewan. How important is it for people to understand the severity of what victims experience as well as understand what professionals like yourself do to help in these situations? Yeah, I, I think that weeks like this are important because most people, unless they've been a victim of crime in the past, don't even really know that victim services exist, let alone um, understand what it is that we do. So weeks like this are a chance for us to highlight what we're doing, the important work that we're doing in our communities so that victims and, and the community as a whole know what services are available should they need them in the future. And it is also an opportunity for survivors to come forward and share their stories of courage and resilience uh, to inspire others as well. Now for someone that is watching um, and if they feel that they need help, what's the best way that uh, they can get help? I guess the first step is for them to reach out for support, um, to you know, talk to someone that they feel safe talking to. They can also call our office directly. Um, they don't have to necessarily report an incident to the police in order to access our services. Um, people can reach us by phone or email and we can explain, you know, what it will look like if they do provide a statement. Um, you know, we can walk them through the criminal justice process, the investigative process, to prepare them a bit for, for what they can expect. And if they choose uh, not to report to the police as of yet, um, we can give them some guidance as to safety planning and other resources that might help them in the short term or until they choose to um, do something different. Um, there's no pressure from our office, you know, if, if uh, somebody wants to just talk about what's going on for them personally. We're just there to give them tools and resources. We're not going to push someone in a direction that they're not comfortable with. Um, obviously, you know, if, if someone discloses um, things like child abuse to us, you know, there's different things that we have to do. But um, by and large, you know, people can contact us and we can just be that listening ear and, and uh, a source of guidance for them. And lastly, Jennifer, any final thoughts before we wrap up? I guess just one thing that I wanted to say is um, this award, um, I feel I'm receiving it on behalf of not just myself, but our entire program and the crew of people that are working with me each and every day. My assistant coordinators, uh, Tammy and Kelly, our amazing team of volunteer advocates and our board of directors. Um, all of them are such integral pieces of, of the work we do and I couldn't do what I do without them. 
we are really a family here at Midwest Victim Services. We, the work we do is very difficult emotionally. And so um, after those really difficult calls, we're there to debrief. We're there to pick each other up and dust each other off so that we can keep going and, and providing the important services that we do provide. And so I just want to thank my team um, that work behind the scenes with me um, each and every day. Uh, they mean so much to me. Well, Jennifer, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us and congratulations once again. Thank you. I appreciate it.